Where fighter jets once roared down these runways, LX enthusiasts made their own unique roar heard loud and clear at the 6th Annual Spring Festival of LXs in Irvine, California. They came from all over the U.S. and Canada in a seemingly endless line to show off how they put their love and passion for all things LX to work, creating vehicles as unique as they are. They were since best toy I've ever built, three years old now. And uh, yeah, everywhere you go, they stare at you. Even if they don't like it, they stare at it. You know, it's such a, such a unique paint job. I'm Charger Girl, this is Scarlet. Oh, okay. So, um, I, I got her in November 2005, and I just happened to, um, I went to the dealer, I was having like a bad, my, my Durango had an accident, and so I was just went to the dealers to check it out. Test drove an RT. It's like, well, it's all right, but do you have an SRT? I said, well, there happens to be one on a truck with no destination. So I put down a deposit. A week later, it turned up. It's been love ever since. I've loved cars. Um, my mom theorizes it's because of my dad, uh, which he passed away when I was little. But um, he was always into his cars, and he drove. He brought us home from the hospital in a Windsor Deluxe. So I've but. Um, I love Dukes of Hazzard, I love all the car TV shows, I had like a little matchbox when I was a kid, it's just been, it's just how I am. Uh, this is my Chrysler 300, I started off as just doing a couple mods, I bought it with rims, things like that, and I just elevated into that, and um, that's it. Well, when I was younger, I always wanted a 70 uh, Challenger or a Cuda, and at the time I couldn't afford it, then I just, I, I uh, didn't have the chance, so as I got older, and the uh, Chrysler made the new Challenger. I thought perfect, perfect opportunity to buy a Challenger, get a Hemi with it, and then eventually do a pro street car. Along with these one-of-a-kind creations, the Dodge and Chrysler brands brought along potential future production models to give visitors a taste of what could be coming in their future. And for dessert, the crowds eagerly ate up the unveiling of the Fat Chance 2, the customized 2011 Chrysler 300, owned by festival organizer and favorite John Fortuno. Well, I got it uh, on a Thursday, so in six days I took it from stock to this look right here, which we uh, color matched the trim, did uh, wheels, tires, tint, uh, made our own grill, some other amenities, but uh, it was quite the challenge, especially on a new body style or the new platform. Uh, the changes, so it's, it's definitely a learning curve, but um, you know, it's really just a show, Chrysler's got it. The growing numbers of enthusiastic LX fans like John Fortuno comes as no surprise to Dodge brand president and CEO Ralph Gilles. Um, I came when it was a tiny little thing in one small parking lot of our, of our business center here uh, six years ago. Now it's, it's turned out we have uh, 830 some cars I believe with probably well over a thousand attendees. Fans eager to see what the 2011 Dodge and Chrysler products can do on the road were invited to hop in the vehicle of their choice and open it up for a few spins on the festival's test track. And raising the adrenaline to a fever pitch, drifter Sam Hubinet blew the crowd away with a spectacular drifting run that was almost a little too close for comfort. With the Chrysler LX Cam in Irvine, California, I'm Betty Carrier Newman.